All right, everyone, and hello, this is Shepard uh, here trying to get to the bottom of this debate over whether or not your frames per second in-game gives you a, a damage increase or damage loss. A uh, little bit of debate on Twitter. Uh, Harokin has posted some of his results with Lance. Rainy has posted some of his testing with, with Charge Blade, and it would appear that the frame rate you run at may have a, a slight impact as to how quickly your combos come out, as well as the way that you interact with the hit stop on the monster. So starting off, we're just doing a long combo with Hunting Horn. Uh, it's not anything particularly complicated. We're just doing the crush combo into the recital. And I do find that, at least in this test, over a very long combo, uh, at 30 FPS, we got a little bit faster. Um, so after that, I said, okay, well, let's give Dual Blades a shot. Uh, we'll see if that's faster or if there's any other interesting results. And this one, this one really surprised me. I don't know what's going on here. I want to point out I am not running any mods or uh, plugins or anything else like that right now. This is just stock, most up-to-date Monster Hunter Rise as of July 18th, 2022. Um, and if you missed it, uh, what, what we just saw there was at 30 FPS, it would appear that I'm hitting less often in my dual blades combo. Occasionally we seem to just like drop a hit, which seems very odd. I don't, you know, I, I'm only doing this testing on PC. I'm not, I'm not using any backup testing on, uh, the switch or anything like that. But it, it would appear that there is some very odd behavior going on at 30 FPS. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do a little bit more testing again. I'm just going to show the full screen of it just so you guys can get a, a full image of, of what's going on from one right into another. Uh, it looks like, you know, at 60 FPS, this should be hitting at 84 hits. And at 60 FPS, it, it does perform properly. We do see the full 84 hits. And from what I've spoken to people who uh, mod the game and whatnot, it would appear that a lot of the game's logic, um, the RE, Reach for the Moon engine, does appear to assume that you are playing at 60 FPS most of the time. Um, for sure, in like Resident Evil 2 Remake, stuff like that, uh, we've seen uh, odd performance at higher frame rates. And, and, and even at lower frame rates, in fact, to the point where speedruns are classified in RE2 Remake at the frame rate you play at because the, the knife just hits a ton and, and whatnot. So this, this really surprises me. We're going we're gonna to do this test a couple more times, but this time we only got 82 hits. We lost, like, two hits of damage. Like, I'm, I'm not even going to go into whether or not it was faster or not, although it looked very, very close. I'm just going to go into, like, you You literally lost two hits out of a combo. I mean, that's that's a big deal. I mean, you know, I guess at worst, that could be, like, about 80 to 100 damage, which isn't the end of the world. But, you know, if you're trying to do a speed run, um, at least from this testing that I'm doing right now at 30 FPS, you know, I'm getting 82, 83 hits. Uh, on your setups at home, if you don't mind... Try it out. See what that sort of combo gets you. Demon to spiral, demon to spiral, demon to spiral. So what sparked the whole conversation was the, an upload from Rainy about um, his charge blade and, and SADs and, and being able to get out, in and out of uh, animations faster. I guess people over at Billy Billy, uh, I think it's a Chinese social media website, were accusing him of, of hacking. And I could see from his footage, it does appear that... Um, at 30 FPS, it is faster. And so I, I tried to do, like, four-way testing. Like, I didn't know if it was, like, a direct hit or an indirect hit causing it. And when I did my combo, everything looked to be exactly the same. Now, mind you, this one test did have some mods on. So I'm like, all right, maybe it's the mods. I'll take the mods off, and I'll... Let me try another couple things. So I tried doing my combo out of a weak slash. And I'm like, this looks like it's maybe a little bit different. And so then I, I compared weak slashes to charge SAEDs. And I think this is kind of what people are seeing in that those two combos do have a different recovery time. So if you want the fastest possible SAED, SAEDing out of a charge does appear to be 
ever so slightly faster in terms of being able to get that hit out. Uh, so I know there's only been five minutes, um, but this has probably taken me about two hours of testing and video editing. If you have other weapons you want me to test, or if you have other results, let me know down in the comments below. Um, as of right now, I would say for 99.9% .9 of the population, including people who speedrun, I don't think it's worth playing at 30 FPS. Uh, if anything, depending on your weapon, you might be losing damage. Um, the very best thing might be it might be a little bit more beneficial in terms of how long you have to buffer an attack to go into another one, and that may be very well have been what was going on with our hunting horn. Um, but for now, uh, I leave you with this. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Check me out, twitch.tv slash sdshepherd. If you haven't bought the game yet, I don't know why you're watching this video, but I've got a uh, store, nexus.gg. You can buy a copy of the game for yourself or a friend, and always, you could like this video and subscribe to the channel. It does help support this content, and uh, I would really appreciate it. All right, until next time, I love you. Good luck. Have a good hunt.